It's this is very interesting uh, because first of all, I did not realize when it comes to mushrooms, that's actually a form of hunting if you're going out looking for them. I've got John Maybrier here who is part of Team Morell and, and you were just explaining to me that you know some folks will never find these things but if you are looking for them it is actually a form of hunting just like sort of deer hunting and and whatnot. Oh yeah, well, there's definitely technique to it. You have to learn uh, there's certain tricks we teach people here at the show you know what you need to know and it's it sounds easy but you can ask a lot of mushroom hunters and uh, it's not as easy as it sounds you know it's a springtime only very short uh -huh. season then you have to wait until next year. So timing is a big issue, but it's important to uh, know what you're looking for, know, uh, you know the different types of morels. Right. You know, there's different varieties out there. They look a little different. Uh, and you said some people like to hunt them, some people just like to eat them, and uh, you're actually showing us ways that you can prepare them. And so quickly, you go ahead and go through your routine because we're, we're going to run out of time here. Okay. Well, I'm going to put these, uh, and you notice, I don't know if you can see that or not, Everybody cuts them in half. I like to cut mine in these little ringlets because when I do the ringlets, I'm going to do one in half and I'm going to do the ringlets. They lay down nice and flat in my pan. And now I can see all that butter and all that garlic and stuff is going all the way around them. And they're going to lay that down butter flat. was seasoned quite well. I look like you had some little Yeah, now you want to be, I got a little roasted garlic there and just plain garlic. And you want to be a little light handed when you're seasoning your mushrooms because they take on flavor, they'll absorb flavors. In fact, most all mushrooms in the whole wide world. That's what they do. They enhance your flavors. They absorb whatever you're doing to them, wine reduction, butters, seasoning. Nutrition. Morels have their own flavor, very, very strong. They're like steak. Everything else is like cardboard. Okay, now, you're cooking okay. them in butter, so we know that's yes. the fat. But yes. nutritionally, mushrooms have what? Uh, they have, uh, the biggest thing that they do, they have a lot of antioxidants in them, and they have a, a lot of... Uh, I don't know the correct word, but they are inhibitors as far as cancer goes and stuff like that. As far okay. as pure nutrition, there's they have no, you know, there's no, no nutritional no value in them. There's no like pre that. yeah right. Now I know that they come they come in packets like this, dried and dried. You just soak them in water. Put them in plain water. Give them an hour, an hour and a half. They come back just like you picked them. All you right. Keep them indefinitely. And then how long do you have to cook it? How long, how long? Well, we're gonna get this fired up. You notice how that butter cooled down real quick when I put them in there? We're gonna let that as soon as they start popping, they make noise like bacon. We'll probably be able to hear that, and then they're ready to go. So it doesn't take real long. Uh, the biggest difference between your dried morels and your fresh morel is the dry ones cook a little bit quicker. Okay, so, you, so you serve long. them up with cheese and crackers? And this is the way I like to do it. It's one of my favorites. It's very, very simple. In fact, you can do this with any kind of recipe. You saute them like this. You can put that in your pasta. You can put that in anything you can think of, and it's just fantastic. I'm going to take those, put it on some sharp cheddar, take that butter and put it on top of that cheese, and let it sit for a second, and then enjoy. Nice little hors d'oeuvres. You can hunt them yourselves, prepare them. You've got hors d'oeuvres for your dinner party. Folks, Outdoor Rama here at the Suburban Showplace Collection. Uh, they're open 10 to 9 today, 10 to 5 tomorrow. Uh, admission is just 10 bucks for adults, $4 for kids, and you can check out everything from uh, John and his mushrooms to uh, Bill Yoder and the grizzly bears that we showed you at the top of the hour. You also have boats. you got tractors hunting, uh, trout ponds. Everything that has to do with the outdoors here in Michigan, you're going to find it here at the Outdoor Rama. We are live in Novi this morning. Mike Wolf, folks, 7 Action News. We'll be back with more coming up at 8 o'clock. Those mushrooms look very good, Mike. You're a fun guy. Yeah, that's very good. He's just playing off the, the fungus among us yes. <laughs> earlier, too, right? Brilliant. Very Mike. good. Very good.